Today, NASA is remembering the astronauts lost on this 20th anniversary of the Columbia Space Shuttle explosion. You might recognize the name of one astronaut, Commander William Willie McCool. He grew up here in Lubbock and went to Coronado High School. And after his death, Commander William C. McCool Academy was named in his honor. Tom Costello explains how McCool and his crewmates are honored today. By the dawn's early light. From the Kennedy Space Center in Florida to Arlington National Cemetery, a poignant tribute to the men and women who gave their lives as America reached for the stars. It is a day for us to remember not only these wonderful people, but also for us to remember the lessons. It was 1967 when the crew of Apollo 1 was caught in a flash fire inside their space capsule. The accident occurred at Cape Kennedy. Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee all died. Challenger, go with throttle up. The space shuttle Challenger exploded on a cold morning in 1986. Dick Scobie, Judith Resnick, Michael Smith, Allison Onizuka, Gregory Jarvis, Ronald McNair, and teacher Krista McAuliffe were all killed. There are reports that the space shuttle Columbia has indeed exploded over Dallas, Texas. 17 years later, Columbia was lost as it returned to Earth. On board, William McCool, Michael Anderson, David Brown, Kalpana Chawla, Laurel Clark, Elon Ramon, and Commander Rick Husband. It's been tough. Every time Laura and Matthew have a milestone in their life, it breaks my heart Rick's not there to share that. It really does. The past 20 years have been a parallel train track of joy and grief. In all three accidents, investigators found human error played a role. I absolutely did not want to become bitter. I just, that's not going to bring the crew back. Today's NASA leaders insist the crews and what they accomplished will never be forgotten. We must not let the lessons of Apollo 1, Challenger, and Columbia show up in another investigation report. I think about my dad every day, but it's not always a sad day or a sad thought. Mm -hmm. So life goes on. We're good. I'm glad I know where he's at. And I don't worry about that, but they were moms and dads and husbands and they lived a very balanced loving life with their families here in Houston and so that's the memory that I want to remain.